I guess that there's a lot of misconception with MS. I definitely think there's a stigma attached to MS and I think it's because people don't know what it is. For me, it wasn't necessarily that it was MS, it was that I was different. There is fear in the way that maybe you think that you're maybe impeding others or others might not want to give you the time of day. At first, there was that worry of from myself, oh, everyone's going to treat me in a different way. And, um, yeah, I wasn't looking forward to that. You create your own stigma. I think anybody could do that about anything. It doesn't have to be MS. It could be the way you look. But everyone, I think, creates their own thing that I'm not going to be on par with everyone else because this limits me. Whereas, yeah, I now feel like that's not true. That's not. That, that may have been what MS was way, way far ago. But these days, not at all. MS is a... Is, um, Oh, the blessing, because it means you qualify for those disabled car parks now. Probably the one thing people should know about life with MS is that we are the same and not much changes, but everything's just a little bit harder. <laughs> like, I'm going to get tired quicker than you are. When I get sick, I'm going to be sicker than you are. You know, everything's just that little bit harder. And for some people, it's a lot harder. It varies so differently between absolutely everyone. Um, my MS is completely different from the MS my granddad had. Yes, MS is known as a snowflake disease and with chronic illness in general, not all disabilities are visible through the eye. I'm pretty blind and yet I'm still... I did the warm-up for um, at Spark Arena a couple of times. I've, done a, I've warmed up a crowd of 5,000 people and none of them knew that I couldn't see anyone. <laughs> newly diagnosed I had lost friends but then I also gained friends as well if anything it just made more sense to people it probably filled in a few blanks of why didn't Sam come to that event or why is Sam always sick or something like that I think it probably helped if anything <laughs> the friendships I wasn't making up lame excuses for no reason <laughs> once people once they get past the first like oh are you okay are we are we good and when you're like, yeah, we're good, they're like, cool, we're back to normal. Generally, in my experience, everyone has been really helpful. I think people can be more supportive when things are harder just by asking. If you don't have MS, the way to help people is to talk about it. Yeah, I think you just want to be heard. Like, everyone just wants people to hear where they're coming from and just to take that into consideration. The other thing as well, and this goes for every condition, talk to people about what they've got. Ask your friend with MS about MS.